Okay, so this is a review on Kanye West's album. This was released back in uh, 2005. And it's called Late Registration. The artwork is basically... He's ba basically... You know that famous... The infamous bear... Um, Kanye West should bring that back, you know. I'm not even going to lie. Obviously, I know he's always onto new new things in it. But he should bring that back. Um, yeah, so he's just like... It's like he's entering the the college. And it's like the, he's late. You can tell that he's late. But it's weird because... The, the door is open, right? And you can see the moon. I'm pretty sure that is the moon. And it's dark. Do you see what I'm saying? So I don't know if that's the case. But anyway, the artwork's very interesting. But there's basically uh, 21 tracks. So there is uh, Wake Up Mr. West, which is technically a skit. Then there's Heard Him Say, featuring Adam Levine. Then there's Touch the Sky, featuring Lupe Fiasco. Then there's Gold Digger, featuring Jamie Foxx. Then there's Skip One. D. Ray Davis. Um, it doesn't say D. Ray Davis there, but I know it's D. Ray Davis, I believe. Because I think he was in most of... No, let me not just say that. Let me just leave it. And then there's Drive Slow featuring Paul Wild and G's GLC. Then there's My Way Home featuring Common. Then there's Crack Music featuring The Game. Then there's Roses. Then there's Bring Me Down featuring Brandy. Then there's Addiction. Then there's The Skit 2. Then there's Diamonds from, from Sierra Leone. There's The Remix featuring Jay-Z. Then there's We Major featuring Nas and Rayleigh Doll. Then there's the third skit. Then there's Hey Mama. Then there's Celebration. Then there's the fourth skit. Then there's Gone uh, featuring Consequence and Cameron. And there's Diamonds from Sierra Leone. The uh, original but says Bonus Shack. And then there's the song Late. Alright, so. Um, yeah. Obviously. Most people will say this is a, 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 a classic album. I, I would agree with them. Um, listening back was interesting because sometimes you know how some music, right? Some music can be dated, and if you hold it on to nostalgia, it can still feel, it can also feel like it's dated. But to me, it hasn't dated. It can re-release that right now, and yeah, you see what I mean. It was still it it would even change the landscape of hip hop because. I feel like that's what Kanye West did with one particular album. Um, but we'll get into that in another review. But um, yeah, I feel in regards to Kanye West, like with each album, what he's done is he has, he has a theme. So this theme carries on from the, the college dropout theme. Do you see what I mean? And the graduation theme. And then now this is... Um, you know, late registration, and at the end of the day, who's been late for registration? Put your hands up, because I've been late for registration plenty of times. Um, so yeah, and it's like, why? It's interesting. Why would you be late for registration? I'm talking about in college. I'm not talking about in school. I'm talking about in college. Have you been late for registration for whatever reason? Yeah, just hashtag late registration in the comment section below. Have you been late for registration in college? Um. So, and, and yeah, I feel like it's relatable as well. Even the, in the skips, it's like talking about being broke and all that stuff there, talking about, and it's relatable to people that actually go through college life. Do you, do you get it? It's like broke, 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 broke. We ain't got it, broke. That The skit is fucking hilarious. It's hilarious, it's hilarious. But it's like the, because um, I know in America, I don't know if they do it in the, in the UK, but like they have these these steppers. Are, I don't even know what they call nowadays. I forgot what they called. These they like um brotherhood or sisterhood thing, and which is I think that's a good thing, by the way, in a way because it it, it it's it's like a social or society hierarchy, and if you've noticed throughout life, yeah, or in business or whatever. If you come from the same, if one generation finds out, oh, you were Kappa 2 or you were Boom 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 2, they're going to help you. They may not know you from anywhere, but the moment you mention your, your from, um, I think it's called Sorority, that's what it's called, but there's a, a male version, which I don't think is called Sorority. Um, 
But let, let me know if I'm wrong or let me know what the answer is in the comment section below. I like to end, like to get you people engaged, you know what I'm saying? But um yeah. You see what I mean? They will work with them. I remember even though this was a TV show, I remember watching an episode of um I think it was the Parkers and um uh what episode was it? I can't remember what episode, it's definitely in season one. And you know, Kim was working on uh her fashion design or whatever, and then she came across um I think it was Professor Ogilvy's mum actually. Was it her? Or was someone else? I can't remember who it was, but it was definitely an older woman. And yeah, to find out they were from the same sorority or something like that. I may have got it mixed up, but you see where I'm heading with this. Even if the story is mixed up or whatever, the point is they help out each other. You see what I mean? Um, which is a good thing. You're supposed to help out each other, help out people in general anyway. Yeah? Anyway. That's just human nature. That's that's humanity. But as usual, you know what I do if I take one song in context or out of context, it is what it is. And that is going to be... Uh, let me think. Because we've got so much things I can think of. Bring Me Down featuring Brandy. So yeah. That's my favorite song. It's just Brandy, 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 Brand. I want Kanye West and Brandy to continue to work together. Like, you know what I mean? Anyway. Because in life, and, and this also relates to even with Kanye West himself as a whole. Like, nowadays, the more, it's like some people are trying to bring him down by, uh, in fact, let's bring it up, put it this way. Because I don't want to be talking about someone else like that. Like, I like to be um, vague, not vague. I like to be relatable. Yeah, I don't want to just use someone. If I'm going to use anyone, I should use myself. Yeah, but in life, business, career, whatever, there's always going to be someone or some group of people that are going to try to bring you down. Yeah, because you could have so what if you've got a huge ego if you've got an ego like your ego is your self-esteem yeah and you're supposed to build up and maintain your self-esteem it's okay to be confident in yourself it's okay to believe in yourself and with Kanye West for example and even myself for an example we're confident people do you see what I'm saying some may mistake as arrogance but there's also a humility side to it where we understand where we are and what we've got. Do you see what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to compare myself to Kanye West, but I'm just saying from experience, I can I can understand, you know, some of the things that he says and how he comes across. Do you get it? So that's why to some people he's misunderstood. For me, I understand him completely. I understand completely. So it's like, at the end of the day, um, whenever you feel like someone's trying to bring you down, because even, um, I can't even remember, there's, there's, there's different levels to it. Even with, I don't even want to think about it, but it's like, even me doing this doing this business, someone could be like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that, blah, blah, blah. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, this is what I, I feel like I'm built for for now. I'm going to say for now because I've had experience trying to do music and, you know, I thought that was my path and now I'm here. So it's like, I don't know what's going to come next. All I know is for now, I feel like this is my purpose, this is my personal mission on earth and I feel good about it and I'm passionate about it. So there's nothing nobody can say to me, yeah, or do to me or do anything to my organisation that's going to bring me down. I'm only going to use that opportunity or use that experience to elevate myself and elevate my situation or my business or whatever. Do you see what I mean? I'm only gonna like I'm only gonna get bigger and better. Only. And that's not just to sound be sound cocky or arrogant. I'm just saying that because I believe in myself. There's nothing no one is gonna say to try and bring me down. From other people's perception, they wanna see it can seem like they're trying to bring me down. But I it's for me it's a signpost like, oh, I need to bring myself even more up. 
You see what I mean? You see what I mean? And, and in some way, I'm going to be inspiring them. So they will get out of that mindset of trying to bring me down. Or for you, you could do the same thing. Just be yourself, do what's necessary. And you're going to inspire them somehow to bring themselves up. It's just, you can't really fall into to that game of trolling and all that stuff there. But the key thing here, the key thing is passion. What Like passion. When you know you're passionate about or you're, it's your personal mission on earth, there's nothing nobody can tell you to try and bring you down. Nothing. Think about it. Look at Kanye West's career, right? Some people have called him crazy, yeah? But when you deep it, he's always proved some people wrong. He's always proved people wrong. Always. And he's only gotten bigger and better. I never... Am not. I've never tried to bring him down and say anything. But, like, the man's a billionaire now. Not that that is... That should be a big deal. It is a big deal. But it's like... Think about it. If he held on to the mentality of trying to believe in people that was bringing him down, do you really, really, really think he would be where he is right now? Do you really think he'd be a billionaire? Do you really be... Do you, do you get what I mean? So that's my whole point. But anyway, listen. Click the link in the description box below where it says become a member of the Acubunan Trust. You get access to online courses such as career and business. That's where you're going to learn exactly what your true personal ambition on earth is. So you know what your true passion is. And so whenever trying to, someone trying to bring you down, you know how to move. You see what I mean? But also the course to do with um, healthcare, that's where you're going to learn more to do with strengthening your mental health. So it gets to the point where no one can really mess with your self, self-esteem. You get it? Anyway, but anyway... The album, I'm going to give it 10 out of 10. The skits are fucking hilarious. Um, the tunes just, conti- like, every song, like, sonically, and everything he's talk- talking about or rapping about, get me, you would, you're, you're going to feel it. Like, music for, is a thing where you feel it. Like, so 10 out of 10, straight. 10 out of 10. Kanye West is a genius, in my, like, in my humble opinion. He's a genius, yeah. Um, but yeah, the links to the album is in the description box below. Go stream that, go stream that, go stream that. And if you've got any questions, any topics you'd like for us to discuss in our videos, leave that in the comment section below. And remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.